Well, switching gears for you here, new data from the CDC on sexually transmitted infections is raising some eyebrows as a report reveals syphilis is rising across the United States. In fact, the CDC's report says syphilis cases have increased a whopping 80% over five years. I spoke with doctors about what they're seeing and what you can do to stay healthy. Syphilis ca cases are rising in the United States for the last few years, uh, which um, is concerning because this is a, a sexually transmitted infection that we almost eliminated back in the 90s. CDC data shows more than 2.5 million cases of syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia reported in 2022, with the agency citing syphilis as the biggest concern. Dr. David Margolius, director of the Cleveland Department of Public Health, says one reason why there's been a resurgence of syphilis may be because the infection was almost eliminated. Often when we've got them in good control, they kind of fall off the radar. People aren't really thinking about them. Um, systems that were working really well just just don't get the same investment. Dr. Kristen England at the Cleveland Clinic also says people may not realize they have syphilis at first because of a lack of obvious symptoms. Plus, she says there's a lack of screening with not enough of a specific penicillin needed to treat the infection. And there's a national shortage of this. So not only are people not getting tested for it, but when they do get tested for it, we may have suboptimal treatment for it. Locally, cases are also on the rise. Data from the Cleveland Department of Public Health shows in 2022 there was a 4.3 percent increase in cases of syphilis from 2021 in the city. Looking at the county level, Cuyahoga County falls into the second highest range of syphilis cases in the state. If left untreated, these doctors say syphilis can have serious impacts on the heart, brain, and even babies in pregnant women. It's really important that we have these difficult conversations with the people that we love uh, so that we help protect them. So what can you do? Like Dr. England said there, have those important conversations about safe sex with loved ones. Get screened, use protection, and talk to your doctor if you have questions or concerns. And that was something the doctor said too, is that you know, if you don't bring it up to your doctor, if mm -hmm. you don't ask for those resources, perhaps you're not gonna walk away from that appointment knowing what is available to you or, you know, the state of your body. So she said, if you ever have questions, just ask. It is really good advice. Doctors are not mind readers. Mm -hmm. They can only go based off what we tell them. And maybe sometimes we're nervous to tell them or right. don't tell them everything, but it's a good reminder. Just tell them everything that's on your mind and yeah. happening with your body. All right, well, hopefully that uh, we see some better results soon. Yeah, let's certainly hope so.